Uh, Breaker 19, this here's a rubber duck. You got a copy on me, Big Pen? Come on. Ah, uh, yeah, 10 4, Big Pen, for sure, for sure. By golly, it's clean clear to Flagtown. Come on. Yeah, it's a big 10 4 there, Big Pen. Yeah, we definitely got the front door, good buddy. Mercy sakes alive, looks like we got us a convoy. <laughs>
Welcome back to Mastermind Gameplay. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today, we're looking at the Big Mouth Hauler. Very unique 18 wheeler or more like a 10 wheeler. Look at those pearly whites. You might understand where we got the name from. The body is pretty plain and square. But its uniqueness actually comes from how you attach this huge trailer in the back. For one, it uses an advanced rotor, a hinge, and two merge blocks. This allows it to pivot at all points, especially with this bad boy going up and down hills. Here, this might be a better look at it. It's also directly connected to a cargo container. So if we wanted to swap out this merge block for a different kind of connector, we could. The piston allows you to adjust as you're going up and down hills if you need more clearance or less clearance. Over here on the trailer, it's all operated by just this one battery. And of course, the electricity it gets from the truck. We also have all these connectors run together with small conveyor tubes all the way to the back two connectors. One connector is for your large driller and it has a camera and the lower one of course is for your small drillers. That way you don't have to switch your trailer or anything like that. These large cargo containers have six pistons, three on each side, that have mag plates holding them in place. They're not permanently there, they're just being locked into place by these pistons. In case in the future you want to swap this out, this trailer is fairly universal and say you could put a turret system instead on it. As you can see, you can access any of the cargos. And you have these connectors on top, which will be in the next video where I show you how it will automatically empty our trailer and refine the ores. And inside we have a medium cargo container, a small connector, and it is all powered by these three hydrogen engines. On here we have very simple controls. On the large cargo container. Medium cargo container. And of course your wheels. On our controls themselves. We have the door. And then your trailer wheels. To go up and down in height, your camera view, and your connector for your trailer to switch on and off the lock. I put the trailer height on there, just in case your other rovers don't perfectly line up. Well, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and please leave your tips and tricks in the comments section below. I appreciate it.